Spring ball for you. Um, and how's it been so far? I see what, just a little over a weekend com yeah. from a competition standpoint from your position. I think it's going pretty good. You know, it's uh, improving every day, working on the things I need to work on. And uh, our linebacker crew is, is young. So you'll know. Oh, no, I got you. I got you. And so uh, every day it's been learning and I've been getting better. I think we've, we've all been pushing each other. So it's, it's been a good growth. Now a couple uh, a couple holes to fill with uh, with Rube and Fetty leaving. Um, you know, how do you see yourself kind of fitting into the void left by them? I see, uh, you know, I, I, I want to be able to fill the, the, both the holes that they left. I think I can do it as far as the nickel packages and dime packages that, that Ruben ran. And um, as far as, as Fetty with a good leadership, and I, I thought the, both the way they played, I, I could fill in good. So. Now, um, let's pretend the camera's not here. It's you and me. Uh, yesterday, obviously a tough day. You know, around the, around the country, but uh, for you, especially because you know you had a personal tie uh, to what happened in Boston. Can you describe um, yesterday how you found out in the events that took place after, from your perspective? It was uh, so I had no idea what was going on after practice, and uh, one of my my roommates, Richard Mullaney, came up to me. He was like, "Dude, go check out your phone." Uh, Boston Marathon got bombed. I just instantly just dropped my stuff and started sprinting the locker room. I, I, I had no idea what was going on. It was slow motion, you know, it was just things running through my head. I think, you know, everyone's had that, that pit feeling in their summit before, and it, it was that times 10. And uh, I got in the locker room, and I checked my phone, and I had probably 30 text messages, 40 missed calls from, from friends. And I looked at my phone, I didn't see anything from my parents. And I kind of just lost it because I, I had no idea what was going on. You know, it was like, how big was the bomb? I, I had no idea. I walk outside, and then I get a text from my dad saying, we're okay, we're okay, like, trying to get out of the city. I just want, you know, I'm just texting you right right now, letting you know we're okay. And uh, at that point, like, kind of, I still was just uh, dropped it because I was just so emotional. I had no idea what was going on. So. I mean, I, I'm sure at that point, because you're fearing for the worst, it's hard to contain the tears and the, and the emotions. Was that... You know, even though it was good news, I'm sure it was just a lot coming out of you, right? Yeah, I, I've never had a feeling like that in my life. Like, that all the things that were going through my head, it's it's hard to even explain. But, uh, you know, that's my whole family because my sister is running it. I only have one sister, and it's my parents that were watching. And that was, you know, that's my life. So I just, it was the emotions that were running through from the time I ran from, from Tru Truax to uh, inside and finally got that text was... It was a crazy moment, so I'm just glad they're okay. How long was the, the time frame from the time you found out to when you actually heard from your father? It was probably three or four minutes, I would say. It felt like an hour, I'm curious. It, it felt, yeah, everything felt slow motion. It felt like, you know, I was just searching. Because I, I looked at my phone and I had relatives, friends, you know, coaches from high school stuff calling me, but I didn't see anything from my parents at first. So at that moment, I, my heart just dropped. Like it was, it was bad. And then as soon as I got outside, my dad said we're okay. And I called him, and he said we're trying to get out of the city. Like we're trying, to, we'll call you back. I can't talk right now. And it sounded like mayhem in the background, kind of. So I was still confused. Had no idea what was going on. So that that whole next hour, even, was just uncertainty. Cause I had no idea what was going on. When you actually were able to to have a, a conversation with your with with your family. What were they? What was that like? What were they telling you? Describing the scene? They were just, they were in shock, kind of. And, and the thing was that was surprised me was they were like worried about me. You know, they were just like, "Are you okay? I'm so sorry we're not there." And I was like, "Don't, you know, don't tell me sorry. Like, are you okay?" And I was, I was freaking out. And my, I mean, my parents were at the finish line waiting for my sister to finish, and she was less than a mile away. And um, she told me later that she hurt her knee in like mile five, her, her knee was really messed up. And she couldn't really run as fast as she usually could. And so she was running a little bit slower. And like, there's little things like that where it's like, if she was healthy, when, when she came in? And my parents, my dad was 40 feet away from one of the bombs. And my mom was in between two of them. And they were just spread out. And my dad, my, my dad didn't even want to talk about it. He was like, I was too close, and and that was it. So they were, it was, uh, yeah. It's still, I can't even talk about it. Almost, it's hard.
when you, I mean, the, it's hard to get away from it in the news coverage. It's just been nonstop the past 24 hours and trying to get down to the, can, can you bring yourself to, to watch it? Have you watched the footage of what happened? Uh, yesterday, I was outside of the locker room for like two hours on the phone talking to people and I went in to the training room after I talked to my parents for a little bit and I went to get an ice tub and the, the news came on and I saw this bomb explode and I just felt sick like to my stomach. I, I thought I was going to throw up and I just had to turn it off and uh, since then I really haven't watched anything. My parents told me that as of right now I probably shouldn't watch it just because there's so, much, so many emotions going on and I mean eventually I'll probably, you know, see what's going on, but I, I just didn't even want to really see it. Now, um, you know, to have this happen in the middle of spring ball. Waking up this morning, was football sort of a welcome distraction for you? It really was. It was kind of, you know, there's stresses every day of spring ball of, of football and, and how I'm going to break in and, and this upcoming season and all those stresses and then that happening yesterday kind of brought everything back to life for me and, and made me just thankful for everything and thankful for my family and you know just knowing that they're okay that I could come out here and, and focus on my football and, and focus on getting better and just be thankful like thank God that they're still here you know that's just a blessing they were that close and that they're okay so yeah.